One of the other great parts about Storybird, besides the engaging nature of it and how great it is for students to be able to pick out pictures and write stories based upon that, is the actual collaborative nature of it. You could have two people in totally different places working on a story at the same time with one person writing and then the next person writing, where they're taking turns. Um, you could have it be two students from class. They could be at home working on it. Uh, they could be in a computer lab, one student working on one computer, one student working on another computer. You could have it be between uh, a parent and a child with the child writing one page and then the parent writing the next page. That'd be a great way to get both involved. It would be uh, a great to be able to have students from different states writing it if you can pair up with another classroom or even a different country. How great would it be to have a child from the United States writing a story with a child from Australia with each kind of putting their own spin on it. Um, so just to show you how to do this, we're going to sign in. We'll sign in with one of these student accounts just so that we can see how it works. Um, when you are inviting someone else, you may want to log in with the student account just to make sure that uh, they're inviting the proper people. Um, so we'll sign in. Here's going to take us to the student dashboard. Again, it'll show published storybirds unpublished story birds. We're going to create a new one that we would like to make with someone else. So we'll just pick one of these. Uh, we'll start a story bird with this one. This one looks good. All right. Um, again, you can either choose the assignment um, or if this is just one that they want to do on their own that may not be tied in, they can just go right to jump in. But we'll do this one for a creative writing assignment. All right, so when you invite people, you have to start the story first. So you can't just invite someone, you have to make a page first. So I'll just quickly add something here so that I can then show you what we need to do. So we'll add this picture and then we'll add a little text. All right. Um, oops. Now we'll add. There he is. I don't know why that happened, but that's okay. Um, I couldn't believe how angry he was. So now that we've started our first page, now we can invite someone else to collaborate on this with us. So what we'll want to do again, always make sure that we save so we don't lose anything. We're going to click on menu. We'll click on invite someone from here. And then it's going to give us a couple different options on this page. It will allow us to invite someone else from class. Um, so if you have your student accounts all signed up, it will give you a long list that students can choose from in order to work with someone else. Or we can invite someone else. So again, this is where I mentioned if you're working with a different class, you may want to have that, that teacher's email address so that we can send that. Um, so in this case, we'll just send it to myself, which I had already done previously on a different one. Um, and then we'll go ahead and invite. As I mentioned, I had already done this previously, so I've had an email that's sent to me, and this is what the email will look like right here. Um, it will show who invited you, and then right here we can just click on accept the invite, and we can jump right in. Um, and then it will bring us right to that story, what's been done. We can go ahead and add a page. And then even though um, even though I'm not logged in with that student account in this case, I can still add my own page. Once I finish this page, then it would go on to the next student's turn. And they can take turns adding to this. Um, so of course, they'd want to see what it looks like. Uh, why don't we do a different picture instead, something that ties in better. Here we go. I think this one works well. And then we can simply save it. And then, of course, the other student can come in and work on it as well. Once it's finished, uh, we can save and close. We can publish it if we felt like it was done. In this case, we'll just save and close so it can bring us right back out here. And that is it. I hope that helps.